Ben's mile. He's got a lot to live up to after that 800 metres and the men's 1,500 metres over the last half hour or so. And this is one athlete who may do the job. Sifan Hassan, European champion back in 2014 at 1,500 metres. She holds the European record in the half marathon. She's got enormous strength. Segai will be one of those who will try to stop her. The bronze medalist of the world indoors in 2016, who was fourth in Prefontaine meeting in uh, Stanford a couple of weeks back with 3.59. Melissa Courtney of Great Britain in great form, the Commonwealth bronze medalist, Laura Waitman, coached by one Steve Cram, a fabulous 8.26 at the Prefontaine mates meeting. Behind Hassan became the second fastest Britain in history with that clocking over 3,000 metres. She's an Olympic finalist from London 2012, loads of experience. What can she do here in this mile? Anything under 4.20 is very, very quick indeed. Debu Stafford of Canada from Toronto in great form. Ran a 1,500 personal best in Rabat last month. And a good six that pre and 4 So here we go. The women's uh, Brave Like Gabe mile. Named such in honour of uh, Gabe Grunewald, who passed away from cancer last month after a long 10-year battle, several bouts of surgery and chemotherapy. And uh, she, and her resilience and determination to keep on racing, became a symbol for the battle to try and overcome adversity. And the pacemaker there, goodness me, Lyakova blasted away, then comes almost to a halt down the home straight. What was she thinking of? She must have run the first 100 in about 13 and a half seconds, and then they used right back when she realised she was 10 metres ahead after 150. That was utterly bizarre. But they are beginning to move along nicely now, and I think that's uh, Debu Stafford in second place, Hassan in third place, but not ideal, Steve. Well, the problem is, you see, Hassan never starts quick, so the pace is for her. She's sat at the back, Lyakova looks behind, no one's gone with it. They're all waiting for Hassan to get there. Hassan took too long. If you've asked for the pace that she has, you've got to latch on to it quickly. Lyakova wanted to wait. She, you're absolutely right, Tim, though. She waited too much, didn't she? She slowed too much. But now they're into it. Now they've got a rhythm going. Not too bad, actually, for that first lap now. Well, 64.26 at 400 metres, there was a somewhat silly pace suggested they would go out at 204 for 800. They're not going to be anything like that if they're under 208, I'll be surprised. So that was a little bit slow in some respects compared with uh, what they wanted. And certainly Hassan, who has the strength to come back strongly in the second half, will be looking to go no slower on this second lap. Liak over there takes them out. Debu Stafford behind her, Hassan... And then uh, right at the back is Melissa Courtney at the moment. Quite tightly bunched, these 13 ladies. As they begin to stretch out a little bit now, Segai in third place. The Arkova now beginning to stride out, and Hassan beginning to warm to the touch. It's almost, it's almost like she takes about 600 metres to get up to full speed, Hassan. It's bizarre, but you, who can forget if uh, they saw it, that astonishing uh, European record for 3,000 metres in Stanford two weeks ago, 8.18. She has enormous strength and speed. What will her second half be like as she goes to 800 208.2? Yeah, the others stretched out behind her. They maybe uh, would, might have wanted to be a bit closer, some of them, because Hassan's not gone that quick here. When she ran 4.14 in London, she was much quicker in the early stages, and uh, she's faded a little bit, perhaps, on the last lap, but maybe we're going to see something a bit different from her. Sigai's going to have to try and hang on, but look at the big gap starting to develop as this pace picks up. It's harder to run it that way. You want it even paced. It's been even paced, but a little bit of a quicker second lap. And now Hassan will try and wind it up and use her strength here to get rid of Sigai. Well, Sigai there in second place has got the perfect pacemaker in effect in the figure of Sifan Hassan. The only champ problem is that Hassan is a 156, 800 meter runner and a 65 minute half marathon runner. And any distances in between uh, are very, very dangerous for her opponents because she can hold this high speed for a long, long time, and indeed, as they come down towards the bell, there's a gap of about 15, 17 metres behind these two. There's a yawning gap behind them. They go through in 310.13. That lap is 61.9. Yeah, it's a good strap on for third. Laura Waitman starting to move up there, but these two well clear. So guy's going to pay for this a little bit, I think, because Hassan has this strength now. We've seen it. What can she do? Opening up down that back straight. A good time on here for her. How quick will it be? 
Well, 310 at the bell. The world record for uh, Mastakova from 1996 is 412.56. I don't think we're going to see that, but what can Hassan run for this final lap? When Mastakova set the world record, she won a final lap of about 60 seconds, give or take a couple of tenths. She's blasting it around the final up there, Hassan. The gap is monstrous. It's got to be 35 metres back to Segai. The pack are closing up on her as her legs begin to falter. But Hassan now into the home straight. Four minutes on the clock. She's got 70 metres to go. Driving towards the line. It's going to be mighty close to the world record. That first lap may have set things uh, uh, dry. She's still going to get there. Well, four, 12.33. She has got the world record. Unbelievable. It never looked on at 800 metres. She's covered her second half, Steve, in what, 208 at uh, halfway. She's covered her second half in what, 26? About 26 flat, I would say. Give or take a couple of tenths. Unbelievable. I never thought it was on as she went through the bell, 310. But the race was run to her fashion. 64.2 at 400 metres, 208.2 at 800 metres. And I think that's taken a lot of people, including myself, by surprise that world record. Steve and I are looking at each other with 60 or 70 to go, going, maybe this is on. So I'd love to know what she covered the 300 in from the bell, round to 100 to go. Absolutely astonishing from Sifan Hassan. And that world record of Mastakova has existed since 1996 in Zurich, another of the great stadia for middle distance running in her world record it couldn't have been more different Mastakova went out in 62 as opposed to 64 today the split's totally different but what a result for Sifan Hassan of Holland you asked the question Tim I think 42 seconds uh, can it be that quick 310 I'm looking at it now uh, sorry uh, it was a little bit slow than that obviously I'll do my maths in it doesn't matter what a performance this is where she does it you know, when you've got the strength that you, know, you talked about with that 3,000 metres, Sigai paid for it. Laura Waitman came through to finish second. They were all chasing, having run a bit slower. Nobody could do what Hassan could do, though. That, you know, I know we've looked at that world record in the past and thought, goodness me, you know, that world record may not be broken for a long time. But Hassan, chatting to her today, I know you and I, we see her around the hotel. She's incredibly popular with all the other athletes. This will be a very popular world record. But this is her digging deep and reward for me, for a, a fabulous athlete who's a joy to watch, does it the right way, and has been rewarded with a fabulous world record. Great times behind. I think Laura Waitman just <laughs> missed the British record by two or three hundredths of a second. But that is a new world record. Isn't it just? 4.12.33. She wins by five seconds. But that's a brilliant run from Waitman. Under 4.20 there in this uh, mile here tonight. Debu Stafford, a Canadian national record, 4.17.87. Segai 418, a national record for the Ethiopian, even though she was way down.